This is Damon Tennant with the Get Your GED Now Test Preparation Series. One of the things that sets my test preparation series apart is my ability to be involved directly with you. I can also accomplish being involved directly with you within my practice tests. I want to show you an example of what I mean. So here is a practice test from lesson three, which covers algebra. When you are in the test, you will simply click start quiz. It will take you to this screen. This screen will explain what you can expect in the test. And this is what you would see after watching the video teaching you algebra. One of the things that really sets what I do apart is that the first five questions have video explanations and then the remaining do not. So then you get a chance to see in a real test environment how you're going to do, but with my help, and then later on without my help. Another further example. So here is a test. You would read the question very much like you would see on the GED test. While on vacation in Acapulco, Mexico, Jim learned that the cab ride from the beach back into town was 10 miles. The total cost of the cab ride was US $20. The cab driver charged him a flat fee of $5 plus $1.50 per mile for the entire trip. Which equation below represents how much this and any other cab ride will cost at this rate? So if you're new to this, this might be a little bit difficult for you. So then you have the option to simply play this explanation video. Okay, so let's get started with this problem. While on vacation in Acapulco, Mexico, Jim learned that the cab ride from the beach back into town was 10 miles. The total cost of the cab ride was $20 US. The cab driver charged Jim a flat fee of $5 US plus $1.50 US per mile for the entire trip. Which equation below represents how much this and any other cab ride will cost at this rate? So what we're going to do with this problem, if you want to pause this video, you can simply come down here to these controls and pause it. If you want to advance this video, uh, you can advance it further in and play and shows the cost of just any ride in general. We know that we're not looking at the equation of Jim's particular cab ride alone. We're looking for the equation that represents his and any other cab ride at this rate. So now, the next thing we need to think about, well, what kind of, and then at that point, maybe you've heard enough, or maybe the volume needs to come down or go up, or maybe you want it back at the small screen. But then, you do have the ability to either do these problems on your own, or use those explanation videos, again, allowing me to be personally involved in your test preparation.